Hi there, and welcome to another tutorial by LarkExchange.com. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on Adobe Photoshop CS3's Workspaces features. Now, Workspaces are a nice, uh, nice feature in Photoshop and many of the Adobe Creative Suite programs where you can customize the way everything looks and where your tools are. Um, a lot of programs do have these standard toolbar movements up top, but Adobe really gives you some options to play and move around with stuff such as the the tabs and the palettes and the icons now these icons here these are a new feature in Adobe CS3 and it allows you to pile everything into these little icons here when they're not in use they allow for quick access of say maybe your history palette your actions you can just click to open them and click to close them up again so these are really time nice time savers um, you can also set them to have icons as well as a brief description of what they are so actions, history, tool presets, brushes, etc. And you can adjust these into different packages. So maybe I use actions, brushes, and clone source a lot. And maybe I like history and I use it constantly. So I like it to be over here. I can also adjust where it sits within the tabs just by clicking and dragging. All of this stuff is done just by clicking and dragging the different uh, toolbox or palette that you want to move. Um, you can undock them completely and move them out over here, position them around. You can also minimize these here and open them back up so you can kind of stack things together. And if I want to add the navigator back in over here, I just hold it over, wait for it to highlight blue, release, and then slide the tab back over. So now it's been put back in. I can adjust the, the height, I can adjust the width. Virtually I can adjust almost any aspect of my workspace. So once I've played around and you know I've decided, yep, that's the workspace I like, that's what I want to use, then I can head up to the top here over to Window, click on Window, opens up a context menu, open up Workspace, and you'll notice right down here there is Save Workspace. I'm going to save it just as Workspace 1. I'm going to choose to save my palette locations. You also have the option to save your keyboard shortcuts and your menus. Now, keyboard shortcuts and menus are also a nice feature of Workspaces, which I'll go into in just a quick second. So for now, I'm just going to save this here. It's going to ask me if I want to save over Workspace 1, and yes, I do. So I'm going to click Yes to replace it. So now if I go to Window, Workspaces, right down at the bottom here with all my Workspaces, is workspace one so I can get back to that anytime I want as well as switch between other workspaces maybe you've got more than one person using Adobe Photoshop on that computer you could each have your own workspace so that you don't have to fight over where you put the palette tools it's really quick to switch so a couple of the other features that you saw when we were saving were keyboard shortcuts and menus now these are all accessed right from here keyboard shortcuts and menus if I click on that given this nice little menu here with two different tabs keyboard shortcuts and menus keyboard shortcuts are nice little basically they're hotkeys for navigating around using different tools and many different things that are found up in the file menus now you'll notice here along the right hand side it tells you what the hotkey for that particular action is so all control a deselect control d etc etc now some of them you notice might not have them now what if there's a tool that you use a lot but it doesn't have one say you like to use deselect layers quite a bit and there's no deselect layers hotkey we can follow this here to select so we'll go down to select deselect and maybe we'll add down to deselect layers to change that hotkey for deselect layers you can just click right there and it gives me this little uh, input box here now don't type anything into that input box in the way of like actually typing in Alt and Control. So say I wanted to add a new hotkey for deselect layers. You can just click under here under the shortcut portion. Just click right there and it gives you a nice little input box. Then hold down the keys that you want the hotkey to be. So say I'll hold Control, Alt, then I'll hit F. Now what this error message down here is saying is that Control Alt F is already being used by Filter, Filter with Last Dialog. 
Now what that is is another command that's using that hotkey already. So what I can do is if I maybe I don't use last filter with dialog very often and I want alt control F to be used for deselect layers. I can just come up here to accept and it'll overwrite that and pop it in there. I also have the option to undo or cancel if I don't want that in there and I do want to leave it as it was. So that's how you can customize your hotkeys. You can customize them for virtually any menu that you see up here. Now the other little tab up top here entitled menus is really really handy and not as many people know about or use the menus feature in Adobe Photoshop. I really like them. I've disabled most of them for this tutorial just to kind of show you what they are and I've left a couple going. Now you see here when I click layer, layer style is highlighted in green. That allows me to find layer style really quickly. My file new is also in orange. Now how did I do that? That's through the menus option. What you can do is scroll down to say image and say I use let's see here I use mode a lot I can change the color of mode to red orange yellow green blue violet or gray that is the color of the border that will show up around and in behind that command so I've set it to blue I'm gonna select OK add up to image there's mode highlighted in blue really fast really easy to see that's really nice if you like a particular filter, you're working on a project where that's filters used a lot. You can find it really quickly just by heading down. There's one I've got set up. Layer style, global light. Green, purple, really easy to find really quickly. It saves a lot of time shuffling through menus trying to find what you're looking for. So say I want to save that menu, just like I did before. Window, workspace, save workspace. I'm going to turn on keyboard shortcuts and menus so that those save with my workspace. Click save. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. And there it is. My workspace is saved, ready to go. I've got new keyboard shortcuts, new colors on my menus, and everything is really quick, easy to navigate, and saved. This has been a tutorial by LarkExchange.com. Please check us out online at www.LarkExchange.com for great resources and more tutorials.